Somebody told me about an accident where the driver of the car broke her neck. The person was driving on a highway and was hit from behind, lost control of the vehicle, and ran right into the wall in the median. The driver was transported to a trauma center. She had a hang something fracture. Hang on for a moment and I'll explain what a hangman's fracture is, how it happens, and what can be done about it. Hi, I'm Guy DiMartino, a lawyer and doctor of chiropractic. I must give you a little background to orient you. The neck has seven vertebrae. The first two, C1 and C2, also go by other names. C1 is the atlas and C2 is called the axis. Remember, the purpose of the vertebra or the spinal column is to protect the spinal cord. A hangman's fracture is a fracture of C2, and because the vertebra breaks, it can slip forward relative to the vertebra beneath it. In days gone by, the main cause of a hangman's fracture was hanging. Nowadays, the main cause are car accidents when the car stops quickly, like in our example, hitting a barrier wall. With the rapid deceleration, the head is whipped back into extension, most of the time ramping over the headset, causing too much pressure on the axis. The mechanism is the same as hanging, hence the name hangman's fracture. The concern regarding these fractures would be injury to the spinal cord or injury to the vertebral arteries, which are arteries that go up the vertebra. At C2, the vertebral artery starts to take a tortuous route and extension can cause a problem. Luckily, if the fracture is stable, the chance of spinal cord injury is low because this area of the spinal canal has a lot of room. Well, there you have it. A hangman's fracture is just what the name infers, a fracture at the top of the neck caused by forceful extension of the head and neck, just like a hanging. If you have any questions about a broken neck after an accident, you can always give me a call. I am Guy DiMartino, meeting you at the intersection of law and medicine. Have a great day.